I'm going to do a stream. I want to do some Metroid Prime Remastered. We're going to get started on that right now. Uh, yeah. Long time coming. Luigi! Luigi! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Yeah, yeah I'm just going to chill out, play this game, hopefully not get too stressed. <laughs> I'll take it easy. That's all I want to do right now. My eye track is enabled. I'm trying a new method of overlaying it on Switch games. But I have a hunch that it's going to be offset on stream due to how I have it displayed on the stream. So if it does look weird, let me know. I. I've been trying to watch other streamers use Obi Ghost, but it's not showing up the bubble. But I know it works. I've seen my wife's computer display it. So, yeah. Hopefully that works. It's vibed in the music. Uh, you know, absorb all the atmosphere and the setting and the music and yeah, the setting of the game. Let's go. Wowzer, you the best! Uh, I am gonna tag no backseating. I don't think I really have to say that. So just in case. I've played the game before. I've played the game several times. I know what I'm doing generally, but maybe I get lost because it's been 15 years since I last played it or something. I'm already curious about why Extras is doing that. What could possibly be here? I already got distracted by the music. Okay. I remember this art. The biology remaster. It's not biology. Twenty items unlock here. Holy crap! Soundtrack gallery. Oh, this is all we need. Yeah. Almost thirty songs to unlock here. All right. Oh, this I like. This I really enjoy. Oh. Why did nobody tell me this existed? Oh, this is sick. Nobody made mention of this existing, this gallery. Oh, that's fucking dope. Alright. I'm gonna need to unlock here. 36 items here. Oof. Yeah. Give me all of them. 
Give me all of them. Again. <laughs> okay. I'm, not, I'm excited about unlocking stuff. I'm also excited about just playing the damn game. But you know me, I gotta go through the settings and, and, and just check out stuff. And I'm fairly certain. Oh, is this colorblind mode? Oh, it's so. I'm glad that exists. I'm glad I don't need to use it, but I'm glad it exists. Okay. Yeah, I'll just leave it all as is. Controls. This is what I'm curious about. Like, would my body just naturally accept uh, the classic, yeah, the original Nintendo GameCube versions? <laughs> because that's what I did. You know? Don't play first person shooters with a twin stick controller. Don't. So, like, how easy would it be for me to adapt to dual stick? And he has motion controls. Wow. I don't know how that works with the pro controller. Or do I have to use the Joy-Con? I really you know what? I'll, I'll set it to hybrid. I wonder how it's going to work with the pro controller. I hope it does. Music has to stay 100%. Narration, okay. Narration is enabled for cinematics. This matches the original European version. Wow. It's fully narrated. It's from the Japanese version. Whoa. I had no idea those were things. And also, I don't remember any voice acting in any cutscene. Alright, so we'll try hybrid right off the bat. New game, let's go. Is, oh, that's also a new option, casual or normal. It doesn't tell you what does what, so I'll do normal. You gotta believe. That's cool. Yeah, hopefully just just chill out and enjoy the game and the atmosphere. Although this is a loading screen. Wow. There we go.
still just utterly chilling to see this in 3D. Be able to play this game again. And there. The controller doesn't really do anything here. Let, oh, right stick doesn't do anything. Okay. Good options right away. I love that. Spinning switch. Control scheme. Oh, here we go. That's a good. I was looking for a graphic. <laughs> there you go. Classic move and turn. And then. Oh, the right stick was is for the. Uh... Oh wow, that's right. Yeah, you would select your gun. There's a jump button now, right? I think I. Spider ball. Okay. Goose ball. All right, what does this look like? Oh, wow. All right, who swap select? Scan visor, wave beam, combat visor, power beam. So they've combined both the visors and the power beams, the different beams to the whole D-pad. Yeah, with block on left and right and dash. Okay, and X is swap select mode. Okay. I have to hold it. Okay, so I have to press X and then I can get to the beams. Okay, good. And actually, it's both the trigger and the A button to shoot. That's good. I think that's where I would get trip, tripped up on. <clears throat> Lock on and grapple, and then with the scan visor on, and scan. Right. Cool. So the D-pad is prioritized to the visors, and then once you hold the swap select mode button, which is X, it can do the B. I can swap that. Cool. Swap beam and missile. Oh, oh here I can do the gyro and the stick. Okay. Locked on. Okay. Whoa. Thinking about this is interesting as hell. Okay.
jump footing check. Oh. I think I'll have it off while I'm using... Hmm. So if I do motion controls, I can flick. That's the jump. Okay. That's a lot of options here. Okay. Yeah, if I'm going to do dual stick... Oh wow, that's gonna be pretty interesting. It's a lot of settings. I was not expecting this depth of control customization. You know, the only thing that's missing is remapping controls, of course. So this is what most people are going to be used to in console FPS. And then, ooh, look at that! I recenter it. Okay. Every time I lock on, it recenters, and I can. The HUD does hide as I... okay. That's wild. Yeah, see, I, I am not of the... Uh, I'm, not, I'm not... I don't have the custom of using dual sticks here. Came by to me naturally. Okay. I do want to give something else a shot. And I do want to try classic. Okay. Obviously, the other stick doesn't do shit because I only have one beam right now. Let's see this. This feels natural to me. Well, not natural because I'm already used to keyboard and mouse first person controls. But this feels good to me. I think I will stick to dual stick stuff. And then maybe as we play on. I think, that, yeah, I'm gonna keep this a boat. This is pretty cool to have. Yeah, like, yeah, free aim while locked on. Uh, fine tune targeting. That's actually pretty neat. The thing that I'm curious about is yeah, jump footing check. It makes sense that that existed back in the GameCube. So, like, because yeah, you weren't as freely looking around at stuff, but now with the Change to dual stick controls, yeah, that this makes sense to either 
have the option to do it on or off. So I think I'll leave that default. What's the change in the... Oh, I think stuff that's further away. Okay. And then the vertical becomes that once things are close. I don't know that I ever noticed that in the uh, original game. I don't think there's anything critical to the logbook here. This is cool. Yeah, seeing these things float around. And there begins the music. Everything would fall down. <laughs> See those, those little creatures moving around, huh? Recording to the There we go. Parasite interstellar interstellar vermin. Severing of the spinal cord. I love these illustrations too. Holy cow. Has already been jettisoned. Oh. Okay. But it's something further back. Flame damage. Are we still moving? Weak life science detected. Get you out of your misery, dude. Three before it starts charging. That was never a thing before, was it? Huh. Oh. Is that a setting? Is that a setting? Charge beam? Something or other? No? Uh oh. Was that always a thing? That it would burst fire before starting to charge? I don't recall that. That's really interesting. Alright. Oh, I see that. That's swap select. 
Of course, there's nothing here. Oh. Left bumper is jumped. I found the more fall. Oh, an X is jumped. Alright. More parasites. Like, you want me to follow them? <laughs> Navigation room. That's right. Let's download the map. Oh, yeah. Looking good. Dude, the game is looking good. Holy crap. I think I remember having to hold a to pan around with the one stick on the GameCube. Yeah, I, I guess this is a tad more intuitive. I'm not sure. For me, it's not. It's not something I'm used to. Uh, oh, hmm. I was probably supposed to scan the map station, and none of these are red. Okay, so you can jump at any time by pressing X. It's a, it's a high jump too. I'm impressed. This is the highest bomb. All right. Oh, that's so. Uh... Poor guy, like he was already dead and then and took a whole missile. Oops. I wasn't supposed to really kill him that hard. I mean that looks like glass. It looks like it was freshly broken into. With the water dripping off of it. And that's a that's a detail you never noticed before. If it was there at all. It probably wasn't. Missiles with R, but I think I know this one, right? Uh, got him. Now, oh, maybe we don't get it until later. I still rapid fire missiles, but yeah, okay, cool. Huggling it pretty quickly. 
it's, it's a wrong button. Okay, jump with B. Uh, So we're looking for the red one here. Recording to lock. Save as is fallen. All ground personnel are, are presumed dead. Killed by the hunter. Or subsequent destruction of underground facilities. Research. Yeah. There's, yeah, that's right. It does have more than one research frigate. Sign of pursuit from the hunter. All right. Oh yeah, this, there should be a couple of creatures I should be able to scan here, right? So you should be able to recognize this from like Super Metroid. But I don't think it actually makes an appearance as a as an enemy in this game. I think it'll be the second level. Detected. Creature's aim will be hindered. <laughs> Interesting. And there's still one enemy on the map. Zoomer! Zoomers have totally different meanings nowadays. Oh man. I have to do a claw. Like, like a weird claw motion to that charge but still be able to aim. Shriek that Okay. I got introduced to the the fauna of Talon 4 before I get in there. But I thought I was gonna be able to log one of them for the log book. Why is not the jump button? It's B. And I am I'm still slightly annoyed that yeah, I, I get to do a burst shot before charging starts happening. It's hilarious that they made the space pirate uh yeah, last mission is the abdomen. Like, 
the stomach and the intestines are like it has hip bones. This is practically a human or a humanoid at least. Oh, I don't remember this being as well lit. Yeah, I guess I will get rid of the uh, the fine tuning lock on free aim. I Maybe mean, I'll just leave it on the stick. But hmm. The default was off, right? I like having the option, but I don't think it was necessary for anything specific, right? Like, the option didn't exist originally. So why is it necessary now? Removal of internal organs. I should have scanned the map station. Okay, so the camera doesn't move at all here when I'm in third person. This is it. This is where we faced about us already. Man, look at that force field. You know, one of these things loosen your shit. has been detecting the creature's ground. All right. So that should find that I mean that should fine tune my aim from the center to its mouth. Yeah, so there we go. Just pressing the missile button is slower than missile button, normal shot, then back to missile Evacuate button. Immediately. Evacuate immediately. 
This shouldn't really be an emergency. <laughs> I love the mini map on it. Uh, yeah, this is the one. Not a turret disabled. That's your other chance to like scan one without getting shot at. Hello. I'm out of. That's right. I'm out of missiles. I remember this scene, but I don't, I don't remember being able to lock onto that guy. Oh, hello. So let's go. We don't really feel me, do they? Okay, that's why. You know what? Yeah, that's what the triggers use. Spend time on them, that's alright. Look at that mint fill up with those dots. Oh, I have no missiles. Do it with. Hang on. Okay, good. I spent all my missiles in the boss fight. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. So, trigger for shooting. And then the bumper for the uh, missiles. Oh, hey, hey, hey! It's supposed to stay open, man. That's really sensitive. There. I got turned away. Okay. Let's see. Wow. Yeah. It's better for it me. Oh no. while doing that. Okay. Explosions? Time to peace out of here.
you open now? Oh, this I took too far away. Oh, there's bodies in there floating out. Those are space pirate bodies. I love seeing that. I It's hilarious that they added that. Or it always existed and I never noticed it before. <sighs> this will be interesting. Does people say combat got easier with the dual stick uh, layout of the game? I'm not used to dual stick layout. So hopefully I get better at it. Was unlocked. Okay. Yeah, of course. Oh. That that stopped being a thing, even on the yeah, even from going from the North American version of the game to. Yeah, you can't. You're supposed to lock onto something over that at that wall. Oh, oh. I remember how to skip and get the space jump boots like right away. I don't believe that's possible. I think even uh, the original game had it patched for the European version of the game. Lock onto that, and back to the ship. Okay. Oh, I lost it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you lock onto this. Yeah, it's just not possible anymore. I guess, eh, whatever. I don't... It's not like I need it. We don't have the morph ball right now. Oh, the charge beam is gone too. Yeah, you lose a lot of things. I guess I should have scanned that guy. I like that they fall back when you shoot them. That's good. Yeah, you've lost a lot of your abilities here. So knocking them back with these shots makes a space. It's very clever of them. And there's a red one. Yeah, there you A gamer. <laughs> Gamers and zoomers. Wow, 
members here. Hello, how's it going? We're doing good. Uh, getting into the first hour of Metroid Prime Remastered. The game I've played several times on the GameCube, I think once or twice on the Wii re release. And again here on the Switch, but I'm coming to grips with, uh, yeah. I mean, speaking of ads, this is what the game looked like in my memory. Uh, like, ads for this game back then look like what this game looks like now. Finishing up in the gym, alright, dude? Cool, watching Twitch while getting gains. We can receive, all right. Seismic activity detected. As soon as we walk in, this computer detects seismic activity. Yeah. The ads for Metroid Prime back in on the GameCube were like I wild. I, I love, they're almost cinematic. It, it's, it's another one of those things that's lost in in, uh, in modern times. Where like ads are not that cinematic anymore. There'll be far more to see in this map once it gets some exploring. Better. Yeah, I'm not crazy about the burst power still, but then again, I don't have the, the charge beam anymore. Yeah, so we just recently got Metroided. Except it's not as dumb as physical amnesia. <laughs> yeah! Huh! Yeah! Yeah, I mean, God. My reaction, and I love that I was streaming Metroid Dread when I got the physical amnesia thing and I clipped that reaction my face was like that's how they metroid you is physical amnesia I could not believe that wow, I forget the one that was bad there we go Yeah, this is sells CGI cutscenes and it was nowhere near that. Yeah. So so the game that I'm looking at right now is how I remember those ads. I know for a fact the game didn't look as as good as I remember. Um, I'm glad the ads existed to fill that in. And now we've targeted that with the remake. That's right. Yeah, so, so right now I'm coming to grips with dual stick controls. I don't play FPS games on the controller. I play them on the PC most times. Um, so not only... So I grappled with like, do I do dual stick controls or do I go what I'm actually used to, which is the GameCube controls. And they poked around the settings, and you can do that. The controls here, you can go pointer, which is similar to the Wii version, or the classic GameCube controller version, which puts the uh, power beams on the right stick. I'm not sure. I'm still like on the fence about which control scheme I'm going to stick to. I've heard people say dual stick make make combat easier, but like, uh, I feel like I struggled <laughs> in the frigate Orpheon, in the in, you know in the, essentially the tutorial level. Uh, 
Oh, that's not the parasites. This is the, the creature that I should have scanned. I just realized. Uh, this guy can get scanned. I love the jiggle. Oh, that's so good. I probably could have tanked that anyway. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The the elephant, of course. Yeah, Tears of the Kingdom is yeah. Um, I'm on media blackout, so anytime I see my Google feed, my Google News feed recommends something about that, I scroll right past it. Um, it's actually good timing. <laughs> I'll pause that here for a second. It's actually really good timing that Elon Musk just totally ruined Twitter for me because I don't have to deal with that either. You know, I, I I got off Twitter and I don't see spoilers. I heard that someone was uploading the art book and I'm like, great. I'm not there to even see it. I'm on media blackout. Um, so I'm, I'm planning on... Look. Somehow I played Breath of the Wild and still kept my job at the same time. I didn't have to take time off work to play it, and I still put a lot of time into it. Um, my wife played while I was at work, so that actually worked out. I think this time around I am going to take some time off to play it. I, I like request the whole week off and then some, maybe like 10 days worth of, of time off to play it. I don't know that I'll binge it though. <laughs> they didn't need to the first time around, which was uh, actually nice. Seeing this 3D model though, now that I think about it, um, I wonder if the 3D model changes if you have a OLED switch. Because you can see the screen and, and the reflection there as it rotates. Anywho, yeah. Tears of the Kingdom is, is massively up my list of things to do this year. So, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Oh man, yeah, no, I'm still on the fence about actually. We ordered the Switch console, the countdown. Yeah, May 11th. Um, yeah, I'm seriously like, I have the the paid time off to take a week and then some. But I think back to Breath of the Wild's release, and I didn't take time off. I didn't have ETO back then. Not not to the extent I do now. So, but somehow I still put in like massive amounts of hours to play it. Maybe it won't be necessary. Um, yeah. I'm glad. I mean, now like now is a good time to hop on too. Now is a good. You know, there's a good handful of games coming out. This, clearly, Metro Prime Remastered, there's always, you know, the catalog that already exists. But even just this year alone, as far as new games, new releases, yeah. Advance Wars coming out. Um, Fire Emblem last month. Really good lineup already. I don't remember last year being this good. In fact, I... Aside from Mario Strikers, I don't think I bought any other games. Yeah. Take a month and be breath. Ooh, there you go. Yeah. And it'll take you a month to go through that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, well, if you've already played through it, yeah, you'll, you'll have probably an easier time getting through it. Yeah, but I, I remember a whole month. Just dedicated to that game. But yeah, looking forward to that. Are we... Okay, that is... Uh, yeah. Big year for stuff to happen here. I think... Yeah, this is where we meet the... Okay, good. Not yet. The hives are here, but the wasps are not. Which is good. 
then we get our first taste of like, oh yeah, you need a morph ball to get up there. Hello. Recording to the logbook. Okay. Yeah. I still feel pretty fast, but for some reason I feel like I was faster with the original control, the control scheme. This should be a save station right there we go. Cool. And there was one review I, that pointed out like this was uh, the save stations are akin to the fire uh, fire the campfires of, of uh of from oh what is that game called? Dark Souls, yeah, Souls like. They're like, oh yeah, twenty years before Metro Prime did it, and, and, and yeah, and even then, Super Metro was doing the same system too. Yeah, this this, this system existed before Dark Souls. Loving, any oh, there's a branch in the way of this. So yeah, I'm getting used to being able to jump. Uh, I realize I can't exactly jump and rotate at the same time, which is why I'm still on the fence about using the GameCube controls. I can. Um, I can't do the left and right look on the same left. So like, yeah, walking, jumping up these stairs doing a 90 degree turn I have to tap the jump button and then we get on to the to the camera button but if I swap it over to the classic control scheme I just press forward yeah that feels like that worked <laughs> you know um, so I'm, I'm swapping between the controls now. I, I still don't know what I prefer. There's a lot of options. Lock on free aim for one. It can be gyro or, or you can fine tune your aim with the stick or gyro or both. And I think I, I tried that on while I was in the tutorial level and turned it off because I was, though I was locked on, I was missing my shots because, you know, my controller being on my lap uh, would gently drift away. So, I turned that off. That's right, this is a new Am I using the game controller? No, I'm using a pro controller. Um, I do have the adapter, and I do have a GameCube controller from the actual GameCube. Uh, yeah, the stick is gross, the stick is destroyed, um, the primary stick that is. Uh, I don't know that I can find it right away. I know it exists in this house, but I don't know that I can find it right away. I know I have the adapter. Yeah. So many, yeah. I, I've, I've heard that it's not compatible with this game. I don't know how true that is. But then again, I, I, like I said, I, I can't test it because I don't have it handy. But boy, would it be dope to actually try it. Like, like, maybe? No, I don't have a double jump anymore. That's the morph ball down there. Did I scan these guys already? Yeah, I did. Oh, that? Is it Brinstall? Wall. Because of Blast May Shatter. So that's for the missiles, if I recall. Yeah. Platforming seems more difficult with the dual stick. Um, 
And then the tra and then the combat is obviously not the focus anymore. This game, I think, yeah, I think it was right for some fans to call it a puzzle, first-person puzzle game instead of a first-person shooter. Yeah, you shoot shit. But... Oh, I never knew that guy was even phased by me shooting at stuff. I remember always accidentally shooting one and then making the dart. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that happened because I had my button on the final button and not, uh, jump button. So I gotta get used to... ...shooting with the trigger button. I love that this guy reacts. I don't recall it actually reacting. And I love that it's programmed. So anyway, yeah. I'll just, yeah. Around here this way, and I think this is our first mini boss. Yeah. It's a launcher. Water That's a new one. There we go. Ram War Wasp. My index finger on the trigger button is not as fast as uh, my my thumb is on the A button. Watch the radar. Yeah, there we go. I'm glad they have the option of using either the trigger or the A button. I do feel like I shoot faster with my thumb than the index finger. That's not a logbook item. Uh -oh. Launcher. And right off the bat, we can backtrack to that earlier room. Nope, not minus. Which I think is this one. Yeah, this one had a. <clears throat> not a okay, so yeah, none of this have a missile door, but there was a, a wall that could be taken down. Not much else that I want to explore just yet. Except for that room. That's where the morph hall is, yeah. We'll see how far this takes us first. I think there is some backtracking to do. Ooh. Yeah, it's like I'm playing the game for the first time, honestly. Due to just having to relearn the controls. 
Oh, it's so different now. And this is for the morph ball. We do have to backtrack. I want to turn down the look sensitivity, although, mm, yeah, if I make, I can make small motions, okay, and if I go to the, yeah, maybe I'll leave it as is. But, yeah, platforming seems to be more difficult now. location of everything but uh, I can glean some information out of things like that. There we go. Map room's gonna be handy, huh? Haha! <laughs> Fine! So now we have a full map to explore. Yeah. It, it feels like the first time, but I also like very familiar too. Like, yeah, guys, I, I don't know if you can see it, but like, man, am I glad to have this game on a modern console again. So the rest of that is for the morph model. Uh, the remaster everything except for the music, which I'm glad they, they didn't touch. I'm glad it was just the graphics. This is one of those really good remakes where like everything is like touched up, polished, made modern, except for the music. So the wasps are out here now. That guy should appear again.
I, I, I love that I can still do the rapid fire for missiles. I got pretty decent at that. Birds look like 3D models this time, instead of sprites. <laughs> they still exploded too. <laughs> now this... I, I don't remember this being on the walls. It's pretty dope that they added that in. Strong uh, tree you got there. There's nothing there. Yeah, like already you're like teased with a bunch of. Oh shit, hello. Already you're a bunch of. You're teased with a bunch of upgrades that are nearby. I remember as a kid I was being very thorough, every room I would enter, everything would die. That only changed when I encountered uh, Chozo ghosts. I realized, oh, I can just... That was a very spooky fight for me as a kid. So, I was happy to avoid it. Exactly. Waste all my missiles on these guys. There we go. Yeah, we want the big guy. Oh, wow, it blends right away. Well, stance, buddy. Metroid Dread did not have the morph ball for like the first, I don't know, hour and a half. <laughs> and so, that was hilarious. Like, oh, yeah, is the morph ball ever coming back? Here's that music again. Alright, so I don't think sand stuff. That's probably um, morph ball bombs, which I don't have right now. Yeah, that room is massive. You revisit this like four times. There's different reasons at different times to come back here.
So the morph ball. No, yeah, I need the boost to get up there. There's several other things I still need to collect. But yeah, it's all coming back to me. Not that one. I have the means of paddling over here now. And there's also this over here. I can't recall how far I would get. But I don't think we go here just yet. I'm not sure. But do we get to go to the mag wait, do I get to go to Magmo Caverns before I get to um, the boss? I don't remember that. And, and that's the kind of detail I, I want to lose in my memory. Is, uh, the order of things. I know I gotta do them. I don't know what order. We'll figure it out. We'll stumble upon it, I'm sure. Yeah, I think I'll head back. into here because otherwise yeah now that i got the morph ball it should be accessible now and i can get the other upgrade that was in this room Oops. that'll be fine Yep, I always learn to shoot those out. Oh, that's right, I just said I was going to go down here. These guys, I'm gonna still need that. I can't get this yet because I think I need. Yeah, sandstone. That must be the morphal bombs. Caption at the right bottleneck, you just shoot them down and uh, they'll all line up for that. Oh, duh. There's no jumping because it's not the morph ball bomb yet. Okay. This one doesn't respawn with more ease. Alright, so I wonder if I need the bomb. No. Oh, but you know what? Yeah. Okay, I just realized. That, yeah, you don't actually go to Magmo Caverns. Because the heat's gonna kill you. 
Yeah. Still another beehive. Oh, I guess I can grab this. I knew I wasn't going to get too far in this particular room. Oh, you're respawning, huh? I'm out. This one should have some vines blocking my way. The room is so dark. I really did. I really did just now. It's like the the room is so dark. I was like, oh, this is gonna be Chozo ghosts already. Yeah, but we can get that log. This is going to require bombs. That's interesting. I don't remember getting that so early on in the game. But I'm glad I did. We'll still have to come back to the vault. And of course, this little room, yeah, room gallery. I'm glad that each room has its like a very unique name. And it makes sense too. It's like, they didn't give us the ability to place pins on the map, but the unique names are a huge help in telling them apart. Like, this room still has so much more to explore. And probably nothing I can do there just yet because it's under the bombs. I didn't kill him at all. No, yeah. I just. I never like dealing with the wasps, so off we go.
Oh yeah. Plasmites. Yeah, they're cool. And that fountain is choked by overgrowth. Toxin levels are high. Yeah. That's the junk that comes out of um for this level. I'm gonna illuminate my way. Oh, I love the reflection of the arm cannon. That's crazy. Why is this room so dark? Yeah, that's gonna be. Yeah, that's a bad end. I'm fairly certain of that. So we'll just go this way. What about the red grass? I want to scan the red grass. I know it's a creature. Four runic symbols must be activated. I remember those four, but I don't remember where they all are. Oh. Can't go there yet. Okay. I'm right there. And I bet the last one's at the top, which I can't get to at this second because of the sandstone blow. Oh, let's don't fall on that shit. Come on. I feel like the platforming was easier with the other controls. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, I'm fairly certain the last room is at the top then. I love this part, yep. <laughs> Little beads of water they collect in the visor. Oh, that was so cool at the time. Still is. Oh good, yeah. There's a save station over here. It's been a minute since I've saved. I'm feeling the pressure of needing to do that. 
That's quite a relief. I'm not sure I can get the item at the top just yet. Gathering hall? Hmm. Okay, I know what's coming up next is the charge beam. Truth awaits you in a sacred hall. Wait, there is a room called the sacred hall, right? Gathering hall. Okay. Sacred hall. Oh, well, maybe another one is coming up. Oh, fill in the map. It won't take long. Like a drain. Oh. Okay, again with the breeze. Yeah. Weird that these mushroom caps make sounds when you shoot them. Like maybe they feel pain. I'm really bad at uh, first person shooter games with the controller. There is one more rune to discover. Hello. You were not there earlier. that guy. Water once flowed through here.
That figures. Oh yeah, am I just sitting here losing my health? Has been unlocked. Oh, yeah. Recording to you. That's pretty cool animation, too. I appreciate this. Yeah! Huh. New extras. Wakey, wakey. So I'll be coming back to this room for something else later. Oops, that's the wrong button. Yeah. Something to get up there. Oh, okay. Now can I... Yeah. Now can I shut him? I can destroy him. Yeah, there's nothing here yet until I get the... Uh... Oh, wait. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> the only way to destroy these is with charge beam. Alright, so no way back up. Oh, you know what? I do want to turn on the options. The jump footing check. Let's turn that on. Let's see how that goes for me now. Yeah, it automatically tilts the camera down. So I see where I'm landing. That's probably what made platforming so much easier on the GameCube. The camera would automatically, like, as you went up, it would pan downwards so you could see where you're going. And I guess it's assumed you can just do that with the dual stick controller. I'm actually going to turn it off. Since I am using the the dual stick control scheme. I guess this, this, I'm actually still getting used to these controls. I don't play FPS on the controller normally. But. Yeah, there is more to see. I'm fairly certain I can reach this room with my abilities. My current set. It might be the morph on the bomb. Considering I am supposed to go to this room eventually. Oh, let's go grab that. Oh, 
all those buggers hanging out over there. Yeah, that's where I was headed. Burn Dome. <laughs> I like that name for the room. Yeah, that's where I was headed anyway. Okay. Yeah, these missteps I'm doing now, I don't think I was doing as frequently on, on the original game. I just feel like I don't think I... I don't remember doing that as much. And then supposedly there's a... There's a way to get up there early. Sandstone. here without the double jump boots. Yeah, these ruins look nice. God, the place is so cloudy. Yeah, so normal, uh, normal more fall bombs should be able to do it. I'm glad with these smaller enemies, there's a bit of a auto aim. Oh. Uh, that's right, one of those door locks. Cool. Alright, so let's restore the power. I never realized they had like eyeballs like that. so dark, I wasn't able to see it. Oh, I just get to enter here already? I thought I'd restore power or whatever. Minimal combat program is like, why is that even program for combat at all? Yeah, 
Uh, burning eight um... Wait, are those new? Yeah, that is a new one. Hard war was. Oh wait! Wow, twenty-five percent already. Nice. Got burned by the. By the incinerator itself. Oh, wrong button. Wrong button. Excuse you. Like a little demonstration here. It's like it's just like nope. Pop. Okay, does that mean I can? Yeah. Drop a. Mm -hmm. Does that also mean I can? Yeah, jump at will. That was an addition from the Wii version. So I can jump at will with this. In fact, I think I can. Something as weird as this. Yeah, there we go. I couldn't jump even higher. Made that even easier. It's so hard to see it. Explore the rest of this room now. Never mind, the water level is still high. Oh, I thought I was able to do this room. So I do have to come back later once that boss is cleared out. now. Isn't that nice? had the knowledge of I know it's possible to skip this uh, you know get it before you do the ju double jump boots but I don't have I never had that memory of how to actually get that let's jump down let's go get that let's 
save station. I should be able to get more expansions now that I have uh, bombs available to me. I should want to backtrack today though. Uh, I'm heading this way anyway. And I can have uh, uh, sorry, have access to this room already. Now that I have the bombs. The bombs will also get me something yeah, in the gallery. So we can do a bit of backtracking. Suppose I could. Yeah. yeah, it might be worth it to grab that expansion already, like right away. Out of my face. I'm not gonna make it. I don't know why I thought I would. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Double jump. All that, yeah, the, the humming we're hearing from the power up next to me is like that's the kind of stuff we'll get with uh, the magnetic rail, the magnetic spider ball. It's a shame my bullets don't illuminate anything here. Yep. Okay, I'll stumble in the dark since you guys are not where you're supposed to be. This game is so much darker than I remember it, man. Up there in just this room alone. Yeah, we're headed. Oh, 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 oh! Sandstone is also one of these guys over here. But yeah, there's a few upgrades to grab already. This half pipe. For now, we're here for this thing. Anyone spawn? No? Okay. There it is. Man, I knew something was gonna spawn. Fuck you guys. Expand it by ten. There'll be another one up ahead. This waited for me.
I still got it. Cool. are placed in good spots. Oh yeah. Let's get this one. Oh. Yeah. I don't remember that being part of the puzzle. I love, oh, that's such a good feeling. I love just jumping at will like that. Cool. So already this is more upgrades than I was anticipating. grass is there to stop me from rolling into the water. Or toxic water as it be. Alright. Wow, that's far more rockets than I thought it would have. That's it. We gotta... These are back already? Just save them before I get to... Maybe the closest one would be this one. Okay. Ah, we can go to the vault. We should go to the vault. There's another expansion there, isn't there? Some of these rooms are dark. That's such a good upgrade to have.
Ну. This is a much trickier puzzle when you don't have a button to jump at will. So, it has a set of bomb here. There you go. <laughs> I'm glad I still have the timing down. That's so good. Nice. We are loaded up. 35 missiles already. Uh, I actually want to turn around. Let's use the other door. have all the upgrades I can get right now. This? Oh. Maybe that one's worth edit to. editing to? Hmm. I can get in because there's a... Yeah, that's a missile door. I should be able to access that. Alright. So we'll head up this. see this platform. Sure, this next room is like super hot. Yeah. Yeah. So we don't have to. We don't. Yeah. We gotta wait for that one. again.
This is what I wanted to get. A venom weed. She lunged forward and I was like, oh no, I'm gonna fall off the ledge! Is it already? Hey, you don't like the sunlight, do ya? That's right. I don't remember the names of these things. So we're knocking down these guys. This is more puzzle than boss fight. side. I like how it makes my more fall <laughs> bounce. And then the tail just like the extra look in the pants like you rolled here too soon. You think you're going fast? Nah. Tail whip. I gotta get three of these things.
Nice beer. Luigi not afraid. Oh, I guess there is a fourth site, a fourth radar to use. <laughs> That's the last one. Yahoo! I mean, Luigi was not afraid to begin with. Oh no, the water turns clear. Be good to the environment, kids. It is. Wow, oh, that looks cool. I love the reflections on this thing. That looks dope. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> A T pose of power. Luigi, Luigi, oh yeah, oh yeah. Sick. It. I return to this room once I need a. Um... Yeah. Oh, crap. Oh god, I can just walk out. Yeah. I, I return to this room and grab um... something in the center. I think it's an artifact. I didn't even know there was water there. Oh, screw it. I don't really see anything in front of me. That's a new enemy type. Yeah. This room. Man, that looks so cool. I want none of what you're selling right now. Okay, so with. You know what, now that I have the heat resistance... Uh, there we go. I can make it to this room. But I think I still need, like, the power bombs. Or, for the, uh, morph ball to get through the rest of the thing. So I think we'll come back and do the rest of that later. I'm 
fairly certain they want the bombs, like the bigger bombs. Super bombs, whatever they're called. Um, as far as these, and yeah, and the rest of this is going to be later. Although maybe this room can be accessed now? Oh, actually, yeah, the rest of this room can be accessed now. Hmm. Could I explore a tad more here? Actually, no, I, I can't. It's uh, we'll have to table this for now. Um, I need to find a save point. That's what I need. Uh, more urgently. All right. Well, I do want to head towards. Is there anything at this room? I don't recall. In this room particularly, I don't recall, but I know at the end of it, I need the super bombs. I can probably access this room now. But I have the bombs with me. And where's the save room in Magmo Caverns? I can't remember. So really, yeah, this is something I need to, oh man, I gotta figure out where I need to save and do so. But don't think there's a save room right away in Magmore Caverns and I can't chance it. I need to wrap this up. Oh, 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 hey, 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 I'm supposed to get off the elevator. Uh, I'm not used to the pools yet. I'm pressing things sooner than, than just pressing things out of order. Yeah, it really feels like I can shoot faster. Right, so who do I want to hit first? There is nothing out here. I don't think I want to go in that direction. I think I do want to go here. the one, the save point, and two, this room over here. Unless that's also unless it's also a room that requires a super bomb. Don't remember that detail. And I missed a jump. It's blue now, the trail. I don't think I noticed that before. Not the water is clean. Okay. I can just jump into anything. Okay, you see the grapple beams just needs. Yeah, there's so much stuff that this thing requires and I don't have it yet. So we're good. Okay, we put that to the test.
Glad to see those little tendrils. Because I, I know Chozo Ghosts like to spawn here at some point in the game. We're moving forward to this one, though. Yeah, I want to put my head into that. And then, of course, this one. Although, hmm. I don't know about this room yet. I think the pylons that need to be powered are... Am I supposed to use the speed boost ball, perhaps? To power them. I'm not sure anymore. Oh. Right, my movement is restricted to hell. Yeah, I still gotta jump through this. so bad at the drill stick controls that I just, yeah. Mm. Alright, well we, we got something to do when we re resume this later. And I may, re I may play this offline too. It's a single player game. It's a, a game that everyone knows, so it's not like I'm experiencing it for the first time. So I think I'll actually just call it here, because I didn't get to bed. So how do I get back to those oh, options and then click theme, right? Yeah. Now we get that kick-ass background music. Folks, thank you so much for hanging out today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for chatting. And the members here, shout outs for hanging out. Uh no new follows, no new yeah, nothing else happened here. Uh yeah, that's what happens with a short, really unannounced stream. Come back later. Uh, again, schedule's up in the air, and also up in the air is what game I'm even playing to begin with. But uh, the only guaranteed thing I have on my schedule is Sundays, Sunday mornings. Those are from Minecraft. That's for Hardcore Survival. If you're not aware of what that is, that's a shared Hardcore server, uh, survival server where we just play survival mode Minecraft, but with caveat that if anyone dies, the whole server's reset. That's hosted by Nenkoto, we're playing with Undead Zeratul, we're playing with uh, Tunaz, we got a bunch of friends on there. It's not something we've done... Uh, it, it's something we've done before, is what I mean to say. So, we're pretty good at staying alive for a while, and then something dumb happens and we die. Here we go! So, that's how that goes. So tune in for that on Sundays uh nine ten central or like that yeah 9 a.m so for that you'll want the social links mastodons where I'm, i finally figured out how to do uh announcements it, am i just realizing that my chat's not reloading oh you know what Yeah, no, no, my chat's good. I just gotta. I probably have to relink Touch Portal. Touch Portal had an update today, so I gotta relink that to Twitch. Possibly is what's going on. Anywho, the links are at gmr.tv slash ml. That's where all the social links are. That's where you see the going live alerts. I got that going uh, finally. So you'll see when I go live on Mastodon instead of Twitter. Anywho, we'll call it there for now. I don't know if there'll be a raid. I don't have any clue if humans live. But um, we'll go to that scene as we sign off. And if there is one, stick around for that raid to get those channel points to say hi to the next streamer. Yeah, that's enough gibberish out of me. Let's wrap it up and let's get out of here. Have a good one, folks. See you later. Mm -hmm.